Once the house is completely done, you're going to want to paint it. But we have to keep an unpainted version of this house ready. So we're going to save as a couple times here. First by adding the word unpainted to the end of the file. And then we're going to do file save as and change to today's date, the 14th for me, and get rid of the un. So this is going to be the painted version of this house. But we'll always be able to get back to this version right here. First, we no longer need Chris. And secondly, we're going to open up the materials pane over here. We've got a lot of different types of materials, many textures, and two sets of colors. We're not going to paint the windows yet. Paint everything except the windows, and I'll explain why later. But go ahead and start trying to make a nice looking house. So if we start off with, let's say, brick, and we want to make the chimney a brick chimney, you have to paint all of the different surfaces. And that means being able to orbit and pan and zoom in quickly and easily in order to get this job done. See how there's one more there? Then you can start on many of the other surfaces. And if you want, you can just paint it in colors and then make changes to textures later very easily. That's because if I want to change all of the brick to this new brick, if I hold down shift, it will paint and replace all of the old brick with the new brick. So if you just decide what you want to have the same color, then you can easily switch things around and try out different color themes. Let's say, for example, that we're going to look at the roof. There's several different kinds of roofs here. We can take a look and see what this one looks like. And then if you decide again to change it all together, then you could say, well, let's see what it looks like with this. Shift print, I mean shift click, and now you've got a very different style of roof there. In addition to the different colors and textures, you're able to edit these by clicking here. Now, these are some controls for color. Uh, you can try out different colors, although the ones that are in here are fairly realistic. You can try some different things, darken them or lighten them. Usually the lighter colors are going to work better for animation. Um, you can also change the size. So you can see how many tiles are used to cover this surface. If we change right here the size of it, it's 2 feet 6 inches. If we change it to a 1 foot texture, you can see that now there are a whole lot more of these tiles because we made it smaller. If you wanted the tiles to be bigger, you could make them bigger. So you're looking for something that looks realistic for the size of house that we have. So that two foot size is actually not too bad. Now, a lot of times the trim is going to all have a contrasting color with the house. And you can see different kinds of materials right here by going back to select. And we can go to colors. So you want to get these colors in there even if, again, it's not what you're going to keep for the end. But if you paint all the surfaces that would be the same here, and a lot of times the trim at the top will match what's at the bottom. And don't forget, there's surfaces at other angles as well. So that one, since it was a follow me tool, uh, the top one was connected all the way around. Don't forget the bottom of the house as well. I think it would be best if we do paint that black, but that should be the only one, the only surface on any of these that is black. We just, we really want to be able to see the details and reflections and colors. So go ahead and try and do that that way. Please save this periodically. File, save as, and you can do different versions. For example, you could have 14B, and then C, and then D. You really will want to have the ability to get back. If you accidentally click on a component, a group, then it will paint the whole thing. And we want to save that for last, because we're going to paint the individual pieces.